Hey everyone, this is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. Today I wanted to address a little issue that doesn't necessarily come up a lot, but when it does, it can be pretty frustrating. If you're a vacant land investor like I am, I think you're going to find something uh, sooner or later, and that is that whenever you're trying to evaluate a vacant land property, a lot of times um, these vacant land properties don't have an address. There's you know no street number or sometimes not even a street. Um, I mean, it's just very kind of vague. I mean, at most you might have like a parcel number. You know, you might just know the name of the owner and like that's it. So really, I mean, when you're kind of stuck with that information, it's kind of difficult to figure out where these properties are located. Um, and, and just one example here, I just want to show you, you know, a couple of properties that somebody submitted to me a couple of months ago. And I had kind of a hard time finding it on Agent Pro 24-7, which is the tool that I typically use. I'd say, you know, probably eight or nine times out of ten, Agent Pro is a great resource, and you can usually find the parcel map you're looking for, but not always. Sometimes it gets a little bit confused and just sort of jumbled up with the, with the data that the county puts out, and it either gives you information that's you know wrong or just sort of misleading. And when that happens, you really can't let that derail you. You have to know how to get the right information, even when Agent Pro doesn't give you what you need to know. So. Um, just in this particular example, this uh, particular property was in Manistee County uh, in Michigan, and the name of the company was uh, Evans Investment Company. And uh, make sure I spell that right. And you know, I got owner name, I got the name of the company, I got the right county, and I search for it. And it just kind of gives me this thing, no properties found. Well, that doesn't really help, obviously. So, you know, if for whatever reason, Agent Pro just isn't giving you what you need to know, um, plan B, when it comes to, you know, finding the parcel map and the size and location and dimensions of the property, plan B would be to actually go to the county's website and use something that's called a GIS mapping system. And I'm going to show you a little bit about what that is. You know, the vast majority of counties in, in the country do have a GIS mapping system. I think where it gets a little tricky is that some of these systems are very, very good, very easy to use, and some of them are not. I mean, it's they're confusing. I mean, it's downright jumbled up and just not a good system. The information is still there. You just sort of have to figure out how to find it and how to make sense of their system. So in this particular case, Manistee County actually has sort of an old primitive you know, system that it does work. It's just not that user friendly. So we're going to fund it by going Manistee County, Michigan, GIS. And uh, that brings up this. And you know, I'll click on this first link here. It takes me to the county website. There's no real obvious you know, explanation on what to do. Um, other than maybe like this right here, property search, um, which brings up this little pop-up. Uh, okay, that's kind of getting us somewhere. Um, if I were to go back and click on this second link, it would actually take me directly to that page. But let's just uh, go ahead and type in what we know, uh, which is Evans Investment Company. So we're going to type that in and then search for it. And what do you know? Uh, I'm getting two different results here. And this uh, this particular seller actually did have two properties side by side that they were trying to sell us. So, I mean, you can see right here already on the county website, the information is there, um, even though Agent Pro didn't give me anything. So uh, let's just go ahead and click on one of these. So we're going to bring this up. Um, and this is basically just a overview of the information, you know, who the company is, um, the current assessed value of the property, uh, the sale amount, how much it was sold for, looks like it, you know, pretty substantial amount. So this still doesn't really give me a map though, but as I just sort of kind of look around on this, if I sort of scrutinize what I see here on the page, I see this link right here. It says find location on map. So let's go ahead and click on that, see where it brings us. And keep in mind here, I mean, a lot of times when you're looking for these GIS systems, there's not like this big button. Sometimes there is, but there's not. It, it's not always obvious where you have to go. You have to just sort of take your time, explore, and figure out what you're doing. And so right here, um, we can see a really rough uh, drawing of the parcel. Not a lot of information other than just we got the street names here and the size and shape of it. If we go over here, um, we can actually... Uh, pick this thing here that puts a aerial photo behind these property lines, which will actually give us a lot more helpful info. Okay, now this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. These, uh, you know, the particular one that I clicked on is this highlighted one right here. 
Um, and this, these buttons over here, these are buttons that you're usually going to see on these GIS mapping systems, w ones that look somewhat similar to this. A lot of times you'll see an I like that. And it usually means, you know, information or identify. And what you can do with that is just go click on any one of these parcels here. Like, let's click on the one right next to it. And it tells me the parcel number of that one and the owner of it. So it looks like Evans Investment Company, they also own this one right next to it. So, um, you know, as you can see, I mean, this is pretty inf helpful information to have. And, I mean, on the, same, on the same coin here, let's say if I bought these properties and I wanted to try to sell it to one of the neighbors. Like, say if I wanted to sell it to this guy who lives right here. I mean, if I click on it right here, it gives me uh, this lady's mailing address. So I could just go ahead and send him one of my neighbor letters and try to get there, you know, just let them know about the property and see if they want to uh, want to buy it from me or vice versa. Maybe I wanted to add to this parcel and buy it uh, from this person right next door. And right there, I've got this person's uh, mailing address right there. So, as you can kind of see, it just, uh, I mean, this is information that just flat out wasn't available on Agent Pro. Because for whatever reason, when I put in the name of this owner, it just it didn't really know what to do with that. It couldn't find the, the relevant information. So, unfortunately, I wish I could tell you that all county GIS systems were going to look exactly like this so that it would be consistent and we'd always know how to use it. Unfortunately, I mean, if you, you know, go ahead and do a Google search for, you know, your county name, state, and then GIS, I mean, you'll find there are all kinds of different GIS systems. Some of them are a lot more advanced than this. They have better information, better satellite pictures, and others are even, you know, more primitive than this one is, where, you know, just, I mean, I think I've seen some that didn't have any satellite images. It was just very, very basic, but it was better than nothing. I mean, if I didn't have access to that, if I had absolutely no reference for where it was located, I'm not going to go and send, you know, an offer on some property where I don't even know where it is and I don't know what size it is or anything. I mean, that's crazy. But with a system like this, again, usually you can find that on Agent Pro, but if you can't and if you're just stuck, you can always go to the GIS mapping system and find it that way. And keep in mind, I mean, sometimes you'll also find counties that just don't even make this available. They have it, but they're not going to make it publicly, you know, free for you to use. Even in those cases, a lot of times you can call the county. Sometimes they might charge you, you know, 10 or 20 bucks for whatever the parcel map it is that you're looking for. I've done that on several occasions just because I didn't want to just throw the lead away. I know this person was, you know, I knew this person was willing to sell for next to nothing. And it was worth, you know, the 10 or 20 bucks to get the information so I could really evaluate what I was doing. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, next time you just can't find the property in Agent Pro, feel free to use uh, your county's GIS mapping system, and I think you'll find it's, it's pretty helpful information to have.